Hi everyone, for this week we have a small update from ArenaNet regarding homesteads and they will also show some designs in the following weeks which will probably become an inspiration for me because as I mentioned before I cannot design for the life of me. I mean you should see my Nomen Sky bases. Uh, anyway, let's get back to homesteads. In this update we have an interview with two of the designers for the homesteads. So it looks like we will be introduced to the homesteads through the main story, which is exactly how we were introduced to the jade bots in End of Dragons and the rifts in Secrets of the Obscure. So it will probably be in the first or second episode of the story. Now once you unlock it, it will become a mastery, which is great as you do not need another portal in your inventory. The problem is that you need to keep switching them when you press J in case you want to do another activity. But to avoid that I would suggest to create a new key binding for it. Also it looks like this will summon a door or a portal to get you and your party to the homestead. And one more thing that we can take from this is that it looks like it's using the same limit as a normal home instance since they mentioned you and your party members. And unlike those, you can return to the previous location, even after logging out, which can be really useful. Then they go further in detail about the homestead mastery, which will unlock more things on your land and homestead, like lumber mill, mine, farm facilities and rooms. They also mentioned a good thing for those of you who unlocked lots of things for the home instance. Those nodes will carry over to the homestead, but will be put in a special area and cannot be moved. And this is to make sure that the functionality will not be affected. As for the decorations, those will be unlocked through the new Handy Worker Discipline, which looks to be an account wide and not character specific. And I guess you will need a lot of wood for them, but that is just a guess. Another interesting part is that you will also need to level up a mastery line to unlock more decorations, which can be a bit confusing, but they will clear this up later. Then we have another question about the handiwork functionality, which will be a cheaper version than the guild scribing, which by the way I have not leveled up. Now we get more information about how this crafting discipline is combined with the mastery line, and it looks like you will grind for XP. Well, grind in quotes, as it's not as bad in Guild Wars 2 as other MMOs. And the more points you put into it, the more things will be available to craft. And the reason for going this way with the crafting discipline was to have it unlocked at an account level, which is easier with the mastery system. And that makes sense for me. And now the next question is related to the actual decoration. So we will have a button to start decorating and then the skills on the skill bar will be replaced with controls to add, edit, move and remove decorations. But that is not all. We will also have a flying mode to put decorations where you cannot normally reach with your character which is actually the flying feature from the jade bots in disguise. Now, if you want to see more details on how you can decorate, I will put the link to the Twitch stream ArenaNet did on Friday in the description. Next, we have another interesting point, which I did not expect at all as a functionality, which is if you log out with a character in the homestead and then log in on another character on the same account, you will be able to see the logged out characters doing stuff around the homestead, which I think it's really cool. It looks like they will be doing different stuff depending on the armor type that they use. And of course they put the nerds in the cave away from anyone else in the society. No, I'm joking. But they can be moved by interacting with them and asking them to follow you to a new place and then asking them again to stay there. Which is really interesting and I'm sure lots of people will have lots of fun with this feature. Next question is about the number of characters that will show up if you leave them all in the homestead when you log out. And it seems that they will all be there, so everyone with 20 plus characters will have a very busy homestead. And the final question is related to how your mounts will appear in the stable if you have multiple characters there. And again it looks like they will focus on the appearance of the logged in character. Which again makes sense as you do not want them to not match the dice and appearance of your active character. Otherwise it will be a fashion disaster and we all know that that is the end game. And that is all the information that we got. What do you think about these updates and do you think you will be interacting with the homesteads? Let me know in the comment section below. And one more point, as I mentioned earlier, I will also add the link to the stream they did to show off the homesteads in the description of the video. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.